So, but I don't know how to describe it. So, it doesn't feel like it's a job though. So I'm not sure I'm gonna call this a job, but it's fun. Another day, another bad Kotaku take. Sometimes I wonder how in the name of God this site and others like it continue to exist, flying in the face of all logic it seems. Build a gaming site. Hate gamers. What? Yes, gamers are bigots. Gaming is ableist and Elden Ring needs an easy mode. Gamers are sexist. JK Rawlings is a turf. That's like making a fast food joint, and then you hate and insult the obese customers that keep your business afloat. Popeye's chicken sandwich. Popeye's chicken sandwich. No! no! See how it doesn't make sense? Not a shred of it. But somehow, Kotaku does this. Yet when Frost told people, if you don't like it, don't watch it. Peace. And G4 nosedive faster than Adam Sessler in a pile full of booger sugar. Outside the Dolby Theater, it is a, it's fairly warm out here. It is fairly warm, but despite the heat, fans have been lining up for hours to get their place at the Bethesda E3 showcase. And of course... <laughs> It baffles me, really. Pikami has just announced she's leaving VTubing, or as they say in Japan, graduating. After the Hogwarts drama, I touched briefly on her being harassed in my first video. But I didn't think she was going to quit over it. She went radio silent for around three weeks until the announcement was recently made. By the way, Kotaku isn't biased at all in the story. Pay no attention to the last article. 15 hours of Hogwarts Legacy. Magical surface rotten core. Oh my god, what did J.K. Rowling do now besides breathe oxygen and be wealthy? Kotaku, of course, reported on it and contacted Bomos, who ignored them. Obviously, I would too. Criticism was clear in its disappointment, but did not seem to escalate to harassment. However, Pikami's most militant fans seem to take issue with the callouts all the same. Okay, all right, so, the Twitter activists, many of them that seem, well, uh, can I say psychotic still, or is that also a no-no word? Anyway, the Twitter activists that went bat crazy, they weren't militant? Literally, these people didn't just kick the beehive. They also took a hot steaming piss on it. Stu, pull out the tweets. Bullying is justified if the person is transphobic. This shouldn't be so hard to understand. The definition of transphobic gets looser every day. Your mom's gets looser every day. Transphobic piece of shit. You join pick me soon. Losers freaking out because their parasocial relationship with some fat ace and bitch is gone. Ha 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 ha. Oh, Robin, you may be in trouble, little dude. Congrats on graduating, pick -a me Congrats on losing your job is such a wild thing to say. Also, trans rights, I guess. I mean, she quit on her own terms. She was bullied away by people claiming to be trans allies. Claiming? No, this is what you children do when you don't get your way. Man, I love fake positivity. You don't support her? It's obvious. This is a fucking three lap for you. Man, I don't care. Trans rights. Please stop co-opting interests that affect real people to spread toxic behavior like your fake positivity. Fake positivity? Our rights are being taken away by the minute. If you think we deserve it because your favorite VTuber quick, that's you problem. The allegations slash claims that Ali Archer lied about everything and made the trans cousin up. Even those who previously blamed Silvervale for the death have now backtracked. So you're telling me people faked a trans person to go after Silvervale? This is just getting 
do, oh my god. Why? <laughs> you little piece of dribble piss. People are deliberately spreading misinformation to try and pin sh on Silver Bell. And it's just, it's just not, it's just, it's just... There's literally no debate. Like, you people are actually... You people are actually just being malicious pieces of sh I'm just a kettle who wants to play this game. Playing this game doesn't mean I'm supporting something specific. I just want to play the game, that's all. I hope everyone will have a wonderful day. She should have just not played it at all, stupid bitch. That shows you just how stupid this person is. Pikami didn't even play the game. She was harassed before the stream even happened. Pikami seems so sweet. <laughs> this person is toxic and vile. Really excited for the wave of mealy mouth woe is me apologies that this game will inspire in VTubers who know what engaging with it represents and yet will go right ahead and play it anyway. Fuck <laughs> transphobe. Pikami is not a small uwu kettle bean. She is a woman with a platform and access to the internet. The public has known for three years now that J.K. Rawlings uses her bigoted money to fund vile assaults on human rights. Whether she wants to or not, by supporting the game, she supports bigotry. <sighs> Sees Twitter trend. Picking me was a pedo anyway. Nice argument, Senator. Why don't you back it up with a source? My source is that I made it the f*** up. This is like drawing a trans person k*** self. You legitimately a horrible person and should feel bad for making this? What? Picking me being drawn as a wizard? What? I love reading angry comments under the picking me YouTube we're quitting. Like, what are you gonna do? Cry? It's so good seeing conservatives see. Strange they don't hold the power in media they think they do. No one appeals to them, and they make no content. They only bitch about others. Okay. I consider this a win. Thank you for graduating her. Also, keep a tighter leash on your fanboy orbiters. They seem to be attacking other communities as well. Thanks. You're getting bullied for playing a dumb wizard game? Getting abused by your chat? Gonna cry? Damn, now you know a fraction of what trans folks feel. You know the ones your money is supporting the abuse of? No, I won. I got her to graduate for being a transphobic sack. Now you people are exposed for who you really are and can be held accountable to. It just goes on and on. Even a fellow YouTuber, I believe her name is Kason, who talked with Pikami confirms what happened and why she graduated from being a VTuber. Pikami to a hanashi sare mashita. Sta, sakki sta. Baachal VTuber te iu no wa ma saagitai hito ni totte wa kankei nai sou desu ne. Mm, nan da ke mo it's gotten to the point now where I'm a better journalist than people who work at Kotaku. That literally looked at this and said, we find no correlation with her being bullied. Bro, it's everywhere. You literally have to find nothing by covering your eyes. <laughs> When you click pick me while it's trending. Absolute, just no integrity. This really is the darkest timeline. Uh, there's this cooking guy. I think it's called uh, something Babish. Binging with Babish. He did a quick spot for Hogwarts. Literally, the dude's so big, he don't even have to read his own ad spots. They're like, please, sir, may we play a clip of our video in your video? He's like, yeah, whatever, do whatever. That was enough for people to go absolutely insane on Babish, who most likely doesn't know about the J.K. Rawlings drama and probably also doesn't care because he's living his life. He's a chef. The dude has a real life. When I woke up this morning, I didn't know it would be the last time I was watching Binging with Babish, but here we are, utterly disappointed, but I would not be wasting eyeballs on someone who takes money from fascists. Then you obviously don't work. Because sometimes, you got bills to pay. And on top of that, I highly doubt Babish is online seeing what upsets people like you on Twitter. For God's sakes, grow up. He's a chef. The dude was baking in an ad plate like a commercial. Grow up! Yeah, well, guess I unfollowed Babish. Oh no, I'm sure it's really gonna affect his millions of dollars. What will Babish do without you, BR3, whatever your name is? Unsubscribed from binging with Babish for taking Turf Wizard money. 
at least he was a gateway to J. Kenji Lopez alt, who will never betray me. Give it time. I'm sure Lopez will do something wrong. Last I checked, if you speak Spanish, you're probably transphobic according to this article here. Ay, Dios mío. Why did you decide to use that enormous platform to support such vile hate? Do you not have enough money as is? No, believe it or not. The Corvette Stingray Evo starts at 100 grand. Bad bitch need a little extra seed money. <laughs> wow, I just can't believe these people. <laughs> How dare you, bad bitch, run a commercial. You know, he probably doesn't even edit his videos. Literally, he does his thing. Someone else edited the video. They took a sponsorship. The person edited it in, and you're throwing shoes at Babish. I don't even know this dude, and I'm defending him. Good for you, Babish. Get the bag, queen. Of course, none of this matters. Odds are to Babish. He probably got 50K just to let the ad play on his cooking video. He did a network television spot with Drew Barrymore a week later. That a few activists decide to jump in the comments on and complain as if their opinion mattered. The dude is out here living his best life and doing big things, while you cope and seethe over a game you're literally going to forget about in a year. Does it matter? In the grand scheme? No. That's what a normal person would think. Now, all this drama originally unfolded around February 7th. It was clear that Pikami was taking heat she wasn't really used to. Hell, if you even look at the trending tweets, you could see examples of people being evil towards her over a stupid video game that they only hate because they want JK Rowling to have nothing. If JK Rowling even gets an extra grain of rice in a meal she has, Twitter activists act as if it's a massive genocide. I am very sorry. I will cancel today's stream. See you guys in the next stream, Dayo. Even poor Kettle daughter, Pikami, is now deleting tweets and had to explain her activities. It's bad seeing Pikami be harassed to cancel a stream, but probably for the best when these are the kinds of children trying to defend her. It's absolutely messed up that Pikami got bullied by Alphabet Gang because they're still answered <laughs> about a game because <laughs> of some woman's political views. Let people play what they want without being assholes. Yes, the people who are like, it's a video game, get over it. They're the children and the immature ones. The amount of people saying this <laughs> for over a year, maybe I shouldn't do anything I like, haha. Ha. I am sorry for not posting something fun, but getting death threats. I keep getting blamed for members that left the group. Don't stream on Twitch except I've been depressed. I can't take it anymore. And I genuinely want to drop everything. This is why I haven't streamed much. It's so hard to wake up from the bed. From next few hours, I will stream Final Fantasy X. But I thought I would cry when the stream starts because I'm very emotional. So I needed to express my feelings. I will delete this later because I don't want to make anybody sad. But thanks for always supporting me. You guys are my everything. I am very sorry. More screen caps of picking me down over the harassment she's received from Hogwarts Legacy and J.K. Rowling haters. Oh yeah, we just want to protect people from harm. The people we target are fascists. Maybe they should not have been so hateful. I saw poor Pikmi and others getting attacked for simply wanting to stream the game. Attacking innocent people isn't going to help your cause. If anything, it's going to make people go against it. Shy Guy was more right than they ever knew, but they probably wrote him off as another, like, VTuber fan. I want to say thank you to my papa me as well. He lives in an estate, so he's pretty far away right now because I live in Japan. He called me a lot of times to support me and show his love, make sure I'm doing okay and stuff like that. So I want to say thank you to papa me for supporting me a lot too. Also, he's coming to Japan and um, he's staying longer to spend time with me, so I'm very excited about it. I need to tell him every day to bring Reese's because in Japan there is no Reese's. Looking a little deeper into Pikmi, it's clear she seems to be a very sweet human being. Like a genuinely good person. She's also half Japanese, which they call Hafu in Japan. And it isn't all sunshine and rainbows, as most weebs tend to assume Japan is. Being half Japanese has a list of problems and issues, especially in the school system. The level of bullying and harassment she probably experienced is crazy. Pikmi decided to market herself to Western audiences, seeking more acceptance. The acceptance she didn't find in her own home country to only be completely and utterly trashed 
by a Western audience on Twitter over a stupid game. I can relate to her on some levels. Being mixed race at times, growing up can be very isolating. And I can only assume growing up in Japan, being hafu, is probably like KO can times four levels of hard from what I learned over the years. <laughs> I am definitely getting more attention from outside Japan. When I walk down the street here, no Japanese people recognize me. But lots of foreign tourists stop and say, congratulations. In fact, the reaction of some Japanese on social media has been downright hostile. Is it okay to select a hafu to represent Japan, tweeted one. It makes me uncomfortable to say she represents Japan, another. こっちが思うような反応とかを反応対応とかをされたこととか言われたことってありますか夜塾に塾から帰ってて駅に向かってたら知らない酔った酔ったおじさんの人が自転車に乗って急にこっちに来てなんか黒人ワークソだみたいな
bully her. And now you call it blame? I rest my case. Pipkin Pippa made a tweet that I found pretty funny after all of this drama unfolded. It seems that Pippa doesn't care, and I like that about her. Today's stream, I hate this franchise, but I hate people on Twitter even more. Why would you say something so controversial yet so brave? She even did a funny little skit at the beginning of her stream that really rubbed people the wrong way. And of course, you guessed it, Pippa is now alt-right and a racist. Uh, um... Pippa? Who I think is like a Nazi? I saw a couple of clips of this person. I assume they're attention-baiting, so don't want to give them too much of that. But, like, b like basically, there, there, was, there was a clip of, like, somebody said New World Order, and a bunch of people in her chat were screaming, like, Oy vey, oy vey. <laughs> it's all, like, Nazi sh**. It's like, um... <laughs> The chat screaming, oi vey, oi vey. It's totally problematic. You can't take Vox seriously. <laughs> oh my God, people in chat. They were having fun. <laughs> Unrestricted fun. No! Pika Me has been really friendly with Kawi forums and called them Kiwi Bros. Her community is filled with alt-right. I wish I could say I'm surprised that she sides with Nazis. Making a thread going through the evidence later. Source. My source is that I jump to conclusions. That's not picking me. <laughs> the alt-right genocide denial racism slurs cowie farm transphobes for over a year. I've witnessed VTubers dog whistle to extremists. Nobody has bad in an eye. It's time that changes. They try to get kerfuffles in to, to cancel little Pippa. Okay, this is a VTuber who got called out for being a Nazi. Not picking me. Both happened recently, so I used the two. Wouldn't it be, I don't know, advantageous to make sure you accuse the right person of the crime of thought or whatever they've done? You are literally supporting murder of my trans friends. What the f- Twitter activists were doing victory laps. The closest thing they've come to exercise in years. Getting Pikami to quit VTubing. Then 4chan entered the ring and hunted all of these people down that harassed Pikami and other VTubers. Of course, many Twitter freaks began backtracking and deleting old tweets, trying to scrub their toxic campaign timeline and accusing poor Pikami of being a monster. Luna Archivist highlighted one that I found pretty funny. Most TERFs pretending to be trans people. Well, being a trans VTuber is about to get a lot more terrifying. Stay safe, y'all. What happened? Some people, mostly TERFs, pretending to be trans people, but still some morally Quack. trans people too mixed in. Took please don't play the wizard game and made it into harassment and doxing of her and other people in that statement when the rest of us just wanted to be peaceful. And then you check an older tweet from this person. Been seeing a lot of discussions around this because it's nearly out. I'll say it plain. If you buy Hogwarts Legacy, you are scum to me. You're directly supporting someone who will use that money to hurt people like me. If you stream Hogwarts Legacy, you're dead to me. I will personally avoid slash block you. And you will most likely never work with or have a nice interaction with a trans creator ever again. Our trust is gone. So if you're a VTuber creator, and you put silly wizard game above your trans friends, you go away. Dandy's thread links to the tweet explaining why. Boy, that escalated quickly. I mean, that really got out of hand fast. It jumped up a notch. It did, didn't it? That seemed very lovely, friendly, and insightful, didn't it? 
Remember when I talked about briefly like 10 minutes ago how people were trying to say Pick Me was a, a pedo and she was exposed? Well, here's the person who came up with it, Amber, I believe. Oh, crap. I lost the tweets. Crap. Long story short, uh, I guess Amber had some questionable things on their timeline and got exposed. So they immediately deleted all of their socials and link trees. I got nothing for it. What's the moral of the story? Pick a me your battles, really. All of this, once again, was unnecessary. Really, it's just a game. Every day, everyone deals with something they don't like. You have to learn to separate your biases from just everyday life. Arrested Development is one of my favorite television shows. The guy who played the lead character, Michael Bluth, has had some stupid internet takes. So what? I don't have to follow him to still enjoy Arrested Development. Do you, baby? You got one life, live it, enjoy it. Because once it's over, it's over. But for some people, you have to actually have one foot in reality to understand that the world doesn't revolve around you.